Well, I'm sure we both the NSA police. I pulled you over because you ain't got a plate on the back of your car. There's nothing there. Okay, do you have your license registration on you? Can I have it real quick? Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. It's a nice car. Thank you, sir. You're good. Be right back to stay in the vehicle, okay? <laughs> so he's got compartments in there. I, when he pulled up his display, uh -huh. he had different compartments okay. in there, uh -huh. and there's codes for all of them. Wow. Cool. He needed a code to get in the glove box, so I don't know what else that's gonna end. Cool, cool. Maybe something new. Wait a minute. Let's see this. We're a basketball player. Is he? Yep. Signal 27 right before the Seymour exit. 50 mile marker. Black Tesla. Two occupants. Green. He's a basketball player. What's he got? 14. 4235 for South East Valley. Yeah, perfect. 4235. Yeah, he's playing for uh, a bunch of NBA teams. Not that I care, I'm just telling yeah. you. Watch. Oh, 14. Celtics, Pelicans. Wow. Yeah. They can play for Kentucky. <sighs> Kentucky. Wow. Yep. Let's get them out. Go through the motions with them. Yep. How long did you open the door? Did it smell like weed before you bought it? Give them a little bit that we Okay. <laughs> He can stay in the vehicle, we'll be fine. I gotta talk to you back here, right? Let's go ahead. So, before I let you in the vehicle, do you have any weapons on you? Okay, can I, I'm gonna patch you down real quick to make sure, okay? What's this about? So, I'll, I'll talk to you in here, okay? Just face the car, okay? You're gonna get in the passenger seat. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you. Just. I'm gonna kiss it right here. Yeah, you're good. You can shut the door too. I know it's good. You said you're heading back home? Correct. Leaving my daughters at a volleyball tournament. Gotcha. Up in Andy. <laughs> Alright, so when I approach your vehicle there <clears throat> on the passenger side, do you have anything in that vehicle that you shouldn't have? No. No? Okay. So there's not gonna be any marijuana, no drugs, no nothing in there. I do have marijuana. Okay. Is it if it's, if it's a little, yeah, I smell it when I walked up there. If it's personal use and not that much, I'm going to write you a ticket to get you out of the way, because Indiana, it's, it's illegal. Okay. okay. If it's a lot, we have to, might go down, go down different avenues, but is it, how much is in there? Uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit? Uh, I, I vape, so. You vape it? Yeah. Okay, so it's not going to be... A pound or anything? Well, it's not going to be raw. It's going to be like in a cartridge? Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm saying it's flour, but... Um, okay. He's finishing your warning. Yeah, here. I'm only writing you a warning for you not having the 
a plate on the back, so it must have fell, fell off. Ugh, I can't even talk. It must fall off. So I'm not going to write you a ticket because if it did fall off, it fell off. All right. There's so, a paper one in the back. Yeah, that's, that's not my actual plate. Oh, that's but not? Yeah, no, sir. Okay. It was, but okay. um, I had another one. Okay. So I don't know what that was. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. So you got called in, too, man. Uh, we were looking for your black Tesla. Caller said you were... Doing 100 miles an hour, had no license plate, uh, windows. I'm doing 100 miles an hour. We didn't get you at 100, so we're not. Yeah. Gonna, we're not going to say you we're doing 100. We're just going to tell you what the caller said. Yeah, I'm not doing anything for the speed. Okay. But we had someone call in saying that you were Talk going over 100. So that's what's going to cross. Yeah, <laughs> he looked a little shocked when he saw me, and, <laughs> but yeah. So it's just going to be a warning on your plate. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do a, cer uh, a search of your vehicle. As long as it's personal use, we'll get you out of here. Okay. Could, you, could I just could I go get it in front of my son and grab it and give it to you? So, in the state of Indiana, I can't let you do that. If you tell me where it's at, though, to help me get it out, I'll probably make the process go a little quicker, okay? Um. I mean, you don't have a crazy amount in there, do you? Hey, Ray John. Yes, do we need like a code or anything to search the no. compartments or do they open right up? No. They open right up? Everything, the only thing they open is the um, glove compartment. Okay, okay. Would you feel better if I brought your son back here with you or do you don't want him not know about your business? I just, I would just rather... Um... We have to search the car. So we're, we're going to get him out into his car or get him out behind you into this car. How about this? I'll have you search the vehicle, I'll stay with him, I'll finish this, and okay. we won't talk about what's going on, and then... You won't talk about what's going on? So his son, yeah, so his son don't know. Okay. If he doesn't want his son, then when I go to sleep now. You want to do it that way, man, or you want to stick him in a different car? Or what do you think? No, I don't want him in a car. I don't want my son in a car. What's that? I don't want my son inside. In that one? I don't want him in a police car. Okay. You want to stay out in the cold? I mean, it's, I can't search while he's sitting in the car, man. Okay. Um, so. Does he know you, you have you have weed in there, smoke weed or anything? Yes, I, I, I wouldn't make it home if I didn't have it. Huh? I wouldn't make it home if I didn't have it. Okay. Okay. So you know, all right. Okay. Well, I'm going to you know, right. so we could just bring him back here to you. He could stand right like I am. Okay. Is, that, is that all right? That's fine. All right. It's, um, the weed and is when you're done with the, the weed is in the um I'm sorry I can't hear I got it. you grab the bag, the black bag, uh -huh. okay. and then in the console here. Okay. Open it. It's a blue container. Okay. Okay. I think he's about done with your uh Yeah, I'm on this time. Okay. Yep. Alright. Can I go get him? He's gonna bring him back here. <sighs> Do you have a lot of stuff in there? If you, if you don't have a lot of stuff in there, it won't take that long. If you have like a lot of luggage and everything else, it might take maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. He's like, what, like a pound? Yeah. I said, no. I mean, how much is it? Is it personal use? I go, we're going to find. He goes, uh, so he has a table in the basket. He changed it from personal use. Yeah. I think there's going to be a little bit more of personal use. Okay. There, okay. Right? You got your phone? Uh, yeah, I got it in my pocket. Yeah. All right. Do you know how to get in a Tesla? <laughs> Um, we can find out together. How's this door open? <laughs> I think it's on the side here. That's oh, nice. you're talking about that one? Yeah. yeah. So, I don't... In there? Yeah. yeah. Let's go detain. Go to detain him, walk him over here and say, hey man, tell us how to open this. Don't even tell him about the gun yet. So right now we're going to detain you, okay? So go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Come on, another pair. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm a big guy. Yep. Bigger than we are, anyway. Hey, man. I don't want to break down some of So we'll get the kid identified, and okay. uh, I'll give him his stuff right there. All right. And when he costs, when he costs somebody to come get the child. Okay. I mean, actually, honestly, we got to call CPS because we can't decide who gets the kid. I'm looking on right now. Let's talk to him right now. Okay. We just got steps we got to cover, and one one of them is when a when a child's involved in a car where somebody's arrested, that we got to call child protective services. Let them decide who the child goes home with and is safe with, okay? So, well, we'll let them decide that. That's their job. More than likely what they would do. Yeah, yeah, but we got to go through those steps of doing, letting them okay. make that decision, okay? Right. So me and you are going to head back here. I'll let him continue. Right. Is that your son's phone laying there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll get that to you. Yeah. Yep. All right, we're going to sit back down up here, okay? You want me to leave the store open for you? Okay. I have to identify him, and then we're going to call CPS and see who's he going to go with you in the line or something. So I'm working on that, and they're searching the vehicle. He's on the phone right now, so. You want to get Dad, Dad to give you his name? Okay. All right. Yeah, hey, I'll talk to him. The weed wherever you got in. I already got pictures of everything in the weed water. Weed wise? Yeah, that's taken care of. All right, then you're done. I made it clear, safe. Okay. Go ahead and run it. P365. That's a SIG, isn't it? Yeah. And there's the serial. And uh, caliber. So 1029 on firearm. Go ahead. It's going to be a SIG P365 9mm serial blah. Okay. Your sale is 4271. Can I get a 1020? You're checking too many things, buddy. Your dad wants you to hang on to this, it's got his money in it. Right? You 
the swinger feet in, I'll roll this window down. That'll keep you a little bit warmer. He's out the cold. I know. I just keep seeing you shiver. Okay. Thank you. No problem. I think that'll be okay. okay. But we'll, we'll make sure. Somewhere safe and make, and make the arrangements of bombs to come get him. As long as CPS don't have a problem, not, to, not for us not to do that. Bob's never been in trouble. Okay, good. I'm gonna go Google how to tow a Tesla. <laughs> okay. 
So what it's showing me if you're towing this thing is there's a something, there's a place in the bumper that's like a little round uh, plug. And then in the car you've got a hitch that screws into that. Have you seen that before? I haven't, but uh, when you took everything out, it should be in with the bag back there. Okay, I didn't see it in the back of the bag. You didn't see it? Um, it looked like it, from what I saw, it was a, it may have been a bit under the hood. I didn't I didn't look under the hood. Yeah, I don't know. There was a little twisty thing in there. Okay. So right. pop it, pop Can you pop the hood for me? Yeah. Front of, yeah. Front. In case you ever need it again, that's what this is for. With it being a misdemeanor, we should have decided and took everything and cut them loose. Yeah. But I was thinking it was a felony, but all those gun laws had changed. So I just talked to Jeff Jump on it. He said it's a misdemeanor unless he's got a prior gun charge or a invasion of privacy. So this is a pretty big yahoo for a misdemeanors. Yeah. It's all right. Live and learn. I feel like I was releasing him. <laughs> so he's getting possession of paraphernalia. Yeah. Possession of marijuana. Yeah. Well, possession of fire. Yes. That's it. Yeah, if, if we would have committed this far by now, I'd probably just, if I'd have figured this out sooner, I'd probably have decided to okay. get off the La Vista. Did C, uh, CPS ever call us back? They did. They want to meet. They, they took mom's number. They want to meet mom and McDonald's. 40 minutes because she's 40 minutes away. She's always been 40 minutes away. I know, that's the, the crazy thing. I mean, she could be sitting somewhere eating or something before this happened. I don't know. But yeah, that's been the crazy thing, too. See, we won a championship with the Celtics, won a championship with the Lakers. No shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Heck of a, heck of a point guard. Awesome. Place I can put one of those two corners, and that one you can see where it's cut out for a pin, but like, get it behind there. <laughs> All right, you got your phone on you? Yep. Okay, can you open these doors? Front doors. What I'm going to do is ride in it uh, while well, he pulls it, it up on the, on the tow truck. There's a tow mode on this dash, okay. and do you know where it's? We're gonna have to find that, okay? He said just two dollar bills were in there? Yep. Alright, he said this is 20 some grand. That's a mess. So he's an NBA, he's a former NBA player. Yeah. I mean, I don't see like a dealing case to be made, do you? No. So we're gonna take it the evidence. That was the uh, with the cash is we take it to the jail, they're gonna count it and scan it, and they're, gonna, they're gonna put it in the machine. I don't want the live view of it of 20 some grand. I know you don't. Yeah. Like a um, court order. Is the act is, is the e deal active? Yeah. Okay, hey, okay. it's gonna be a misdemeanor, so you can bond out, okay? I can bond out, okay. Yeah, yeah. all right. Alright. Uh, uh, misdemeanor. So right now, a little bit. Listen. Okay. Right now, you're getting charged with unlawful possession of a firearm. Unlawful possession of a firearm. Possession of marijuana. Possession of marijuana. And possession of paraphernalia. Possession of paraphernalia. Like he said, they're all going to be misdemeanors. Okay. So you'll be able to bond out. All misdemeanors, I'll be able to bond out. I'll bond out cash, right? Yeah. Oh, paraphernalia. What's the paraphernalia? So we found there was a pipe in the back of your car. Okay. That we found. That's the. Oh, really? That's the oh, okay. Yeah. Clear it on this, brother. Uh, I appreciate it. You're all good to go. Uh, like I said, he can't leave with you quite yet. So we're out. Uh, when we leave, though, he will be in this canine. Okay, so you'll follow this car out of here, okay? Okay. And where is she at? Meet her at the McDonald's. At the McDonald's. So what you're going to do here is this next exit. It's called 50B and 50A. You're gonna take 50B, it's gonna veer to the right, and the McDonald's is maybe a half mile, three quarters of a mile down to the right. Okay.
Hello. Thank you. You're Sorry. welcome. Take care, my baby. No problem. We opened like an investigation. Um, can stay open for up to 40, 40 days, 45 days, but we try to get them closed quicker. Okay. With your case, I would say we can get it closed pretty quick. Um, I don't, I mean, we would not open a case or anything like that just because you're out of state. Um, if we see that there's like major concerns, we would probably call in a report to the Kentucky CPS. I don't really see that there's going to be any any major concerns or any like any substantiation on our part. Um, but I mean, it, it could be. Um, but when we we'll keep in contact with you and let you know when we close out the case. Okay. Um, when we do. This sheet right here is what you'll need to get us to make sure the kids are happy and healthy and they feel safe and have everything that they need. So, um, obviously, um, you guys got pulled over and I know that can be really scary. Um, so, can you just explain a little bit about like, what happened? Uh, well, I was asleep and then I woke up and uh, I'm no. his partner. Oh, okay. Do you need anything from me? I'm just going to talk to Ashley real quick before okay. they take off. All right, all right. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good rest of the day.